I swear, every single time we find a perfect parking spot. But it's you have actually, to it's actually, actually trust like that you have it. Care routine before he met me was soap and water. Well, I hope your Sunday is going as well as Christina Catamans right here. Hello and welcome back. As probably most of you know, because I would presume that most of you follow me on Instagram, we are back in Canada for the time being. And today we're going into civilization, as I would like to call it, because we live pretty far away from like, well, everything. And we're, uh, we're actually currently living in basically a cabin. And yeah. We've been, we've been writing an ebook, and it's a good place to go and write and, and do work. But uh, it's been, we live in basically the warmest part of Canada, but there was a snowstorm last week, which meant we couldn't really leave the cabin. We couldn't go into town and today's the first day. Uh, all of that has kind of melted away. So as Christina said, we're enjoying our first trip this week back into civilization. Yeah, it's nice. Cabin life is beautiful. I definitely very much miss the social aspect of being in a city, but it's pretty and it's a great place yeah to write also, a book we and also work we lots. also miss uh, the beach aspect of being on the beach right now it's two, plus 2.5 degrees so one of the issues is sometimes it gets cold when the sun goes down and then the road can get really icy so we've actually got a bunch of stuff we have to do uh, in town today before we before we head back so yeah, one of our main missions is to get skincare products because I am out of pretty much everything. And we also want to go to the gym and do a really good gym session. We tried to make it to the gym for a gym workout at least like three times a week. I said gym 15 times. Again, because of that snowstorm, we have kind of been um, locked at home a little bit. But we do work out at home as well. So no excuses there. Just, you know, when you go to the gym, I feel like you can get like a intense workout so we're gonna do that and then also we have to go grocery shopping <laughs> so like a very we're adult also, Sunday if yeah, you like well, we're, we're gonna start the day with there's a nice uh, coffee shop in the town I keep saying in town for those who don't know we're in the Okanagan uh, it's about half a million people spread across a lake with the main it's kind of two bigger towns and then a small uh, city called Kelowna it's like the main wine growing region in Canada and so that, that's what we mean when we say we're going to town, we're going to Kelowna. Yeah, because we're kind of in the middle of the woods basically, not in town. Alex and I have a bit of a problem. We, so we've been fortunate to build our life in the last couple of years in such a way that We've been kind of spending time between primarily Mexico and Canada, but also like Mexico, Canada and Moldova, Europe, right? But we have this thing where everywhere we go, we could see ourselves living there. And so we were just talking about how, you know, like everywhere except for Canada, Vancouver, Vancouver is okay. But Vancouver is a beautiful city. Vancouver is my favorite city. It's really nice. So. I'm not talking about Vancouver right now, but, and I haven't been to Toronto, but like, well, I couldn't do Toronto, I don't think. I don't think I could do Toronto. Um, I, I mean, Montreal, we don't speak French. I know you could live there if you don't speak French, but the thing is like, we could totally see ourselves living in Europe and we have the opportunity to do so because again, we, you know, worked hard and we are citizens of places that allow us to do it. But then we could also see ourselves living in United States. We could also see ourselves living in Caribbean. We could see ourselves living everywhere. <laughs> Which basically makes us for now still be in Canada where in a place where we actually don't particularly enjoy living that much. Anybody else have this weird situation with, I don't know if it's, that's not indecision per se. It's just like, maybe we need to be less like positive and open and you know those people who go places and they just don't like it anywhere they go maybe that would have been easier for us if we just didn't like it anyways what do you think that we're almost a good parking spot up ahead do you ever have a conversation with your beloved and he doesn't even listen to you 
Is I'm actually operating a motor vehicle. That's true, actually. You're, you, you are operating a motor vehicle. I should not distract you. But, no, it's, yeah, it's all good. I honestly, I just feel like I flourish in places like Caribbean. And like I, what's it called? What's the what's the antonym of flourish? Um, wither. Wither. When I am in the cold. Did you know that we are pretty much on the same like? What is it called? Like Canada and, and Russia are very similar when it comes to weather. Did you know that? If you live in Canada, <laughs> you may as well be living in Siberia. Yeah. We're still looking for parking. We're almost at the cafe. Look, I, I'm i honestly not like it's, well, I don't know. I was I was going to say it's not so bad. It's kind of pretty. How, how's your not complaining challenge? It's not very pretty. Yeah, my not complaining challenge. I have a challenge for myself called no, minimal complaint challenge or complain less challenge. I'm not doing very well. I'm definitely complaining a lot. Not a lot. I'm actually not the kind of person who always complains. But lately, <laughs> <laughs> I have been the kind of person. <laughs> Where's this parking spot that you speak of? That's right there. Good one. Ooh, I have a trick for you to be able to park anywhere you desire. Are you ready? I need to get one of those things to, to put on the car. I saw it in the movie, The Secret. If you haven't watched that movie yet, you should definitely watch it. You picture yourself finding the perfect parking spot and you say that you have a par perfect parking spot. You affirm. You affirm. I swear, every single time we find a perfect parking spot. But it's you have actually, to it's actually, actually trust like that you have it. Trippy. Yeah. It works. It, it works like that with everything in life, you know? But parking spot is easy to manifest. So you, you just have to trust that you have it already. And even if you don't see it yet, close to a place that you want to go to, just drive like you know do one circle and then when you come back you will have a parking spot we honestly get fantastic parking everywhere yeah all the time and my belief for this whole situation is that i always have the best parking spots you're welcome we had a dangerous thing happen this is definitely going into the vlog the reality TV is reality. Selfie. One of the reasons why I actually married Alex is because, you know, he's really serious about his look. Yep. Alexander. This is security. Alexander. How are you? I'm good. How's your father? I'm my macchiato. We're, um, trying to... While our body is in thinking that we're getting enough vitamin D just by being we had, outside. We each had seven vitamin D tablets this morning. Seven. I don't even know if that's healthy. But I think it's super healthy. Seven <laughs> times healthier than one time. There's like no sun. We haven't seen sun in a few days, so. I mean, it's not cold. It's like kind of nice, kind of cozy. Mission number one of the day has been successful so far. We got the coffee. We went for a nice walk. We went for a nice walk. Walk is currently in progress. Walk is currently still in progress, that's right. And I'm starting to freeze, so I think it's time to go get the skincare products. Because I freeze instantly, even when it's not actually that cold. You do look cold, she does look cold. I look cold because I'm cold. Perfect parking spot. Perfect parking spot. I'm telling you guys, try it sometime. There's some music accommodating this, or accompanying, not accommodating. Oh my gosh. I just said that there's music accommodating. I meant to say accompanying. Something that I recently learned, um, the gentleman who was playing the music, or who is currently playing the music, um, just kind of started screaming <laughs> at us out of nowhere. Um, and it's something that I learned recently. So I obviously wasn't born and raised in Canada. I moved here 11 years ago. I found out that Canada doesn't have mental hospitals. Because for example, like in my motherland back home, like in 
I'm fairly certain it's like that in all the ex-USSR republics. Um, you don't really have that many homeless people. Like you, you have people who are very evidently kind of like down on their luck or they have um, mainly addictions problems, I would say. Mm -hmm. Not even drug addiction, not, not like, um, I guess drugs as you think of them in like, you know, heroin and stuff like that, but mainly like alcohol addictions that you see on the streets. But you don't really see uh, people who very evidently just need, you know, mental assistance or mental help. And yeah, I learned recently that there are no mental health hospitals in Canada. It's, and I was kind of shocked to hear that because... It's not even the like the, the hospital side. Like hospitals in Canada will have mental health wards. But like the long-term... The know, long term in, care, insane yeah. asylum. Why is it like that? I don't know. It was the same thing in the in the U.S. when they shut those uh, down. The the street population went way up. I don't know that there's there's a lot of uh, like abuse and a lot of bad shit going on in oh. insane asylum. So maybe that. Also, I know they they cost uh, a lot, so they're not really. But the cost thing, we pay so much taxes in Canada. Like back home, people, like the taxes are not that high. And there are mental health institutions. No. I, don't, I mean, I'm very, I, you know, I am literally just talking out loud. I don't know. I'm not trying to come across as someone who like knows what the solution is. It's just an observation, something yeah. that I noticed in the last few years. And it's an interesting subject that. It's, it's, like, it's like that in countries in former Yugoslavia where we've traveled through as well. But yeah. basically all of, all of Eastern Europe where many countries have way le the governments have way less means than the governments do in Canada or the US. Yeah. Uh, and yet there's like no street people, so. It's, yeah, it's, it's interesting. So anyways, it's a completely unrelated like topic on here, but I just thought I would express food, that. Food for thought. Food for thought, yeah, because I don't know. Alexander got hungry. So we had to stop and get him a snack real quick. Oh, there's like hair everywhere. And it's actually kind of difficult to find like healthy snacks. Pay attention to the protein bars that you Keep get. Drinking. Most of the protein bars have like obscene amounts of sugar in them. Yeah, it's like soy protein isolate, yeah. palm kernel oil, and a ridiculous amount of sugar. It's insane actually. Not things you want. No. Y'all always ask me what I eat and what my diet is like. I don't really follow any particular diet. I've mentioned on my social media before that I try to follow like um, slight caloric deficit at all times and as much protein as I can, so like meat and stuff. But I have a fairly balanced diet. I don't really follow any like strict diets. But when it comes to sugar, I try to be very careful. That's a, that's a great thing for people who want to pack on a bit of muscle and are, they're not your concern is not putting on as much muscle as humanly possible mm. which would just be bulking eating a ton if you're if you're kind of trying to put on some muscle while keeping uh, weight off you can look up there's a bunch of great articles and YouTube videos about uh, recomping recomposition um, where you're just like Christina said you're trying to get a lot of protein and so you're trying to get all your protein you need while at the same time running a bit of a calorie deficit. Calorie deficit, yeah. So anyways, but like snacks, as I was mentioning just now, it's really hard to find healthy snacks. So that's, what we just went for is- That's a lot of people fall off the, yeah, fall off the rails. We just went for like a beef sausage, like a clean beef sausage and a protein bar that doesn't have any added sugar. It was like, I think figs and like nuts and that's it. Like maybe like one more ingredient because a lot of you, you should really pay attention to the ingredients because sometimes you look at the ingredients you have absolutely no idea what those names are or what you know and it's like what is that even so a yeah lot of, a lot of foods in like the health food section are just are rubbish. not healthy <laughs> they're just marketed to you as like healthy foods but they're not healthy Alexander's skincare routine before he met me was soap and water and now it's like numerous skincare it was, it products it was like organic soap and water they were pretty much out of most of the stuff that I needed for skincare. But it's okay. You know, it's not the end of the world. I do usually buy like stuff before I run out, but somehow this time around, because maybe we were in Mexico, I basically just waited to run out completely. We only bought like two things, a cream and a serum and not even one more serum that I was looking for. I was looking for like two or three so, more things. Anyways, something it's okay. worth uh, Something worth noting, the, the Canadians and Americans mm -hmm. 
uh, out there is if you are going to Mexico, if you're going to the Yucatan in particular, um, things will cost more. I don't, I think a lot of people like, okay, if you go to a grocery store, no, but if you're gonna go shopping, like if you, if you need yeah. to buy clothes or shoes or skincare even, it's yeah, a little skincare bit more. stuff. And especially if you need to buy any electronics or anything, mm -hmm. just get it in, get it at home. It yeah, get it in Canada or US. Well, especially US. Better. Prices in US, I feel like, are even better than even Canada better, for many yeah. things. So, yeah. Now that we had somewhat of a successful mission for skincare, we are going to the gym. And I told Alex that I don't feel like it. I'm really, I have to work out first thing in the morning. Otherwise, it's way harder for me to get myself together and work out. And you know what he told me? He told me to take a spoon of cement and harden the fuck up. Mm -hmm. Well, I hope you're. Sunday is going as well as Christina Catamans right here. <laughs> that workout almost killed us. So we need to immediately, or not immediately, but really quickly shop and then go home and eat as much as we possibly can because that was a lot. The handle. One of the things that I never do when we go grocery shopping together, Alex and I, is carry the bags. Why would I? Why? I mean, like, why extra work for you? Obviously, if it's like too much, then sure, but. Am I right, Alexander? 100%. Like, we got a lot of stuff. Got us eight liters, uh, just put eight liters of wine into our cart. So, just so you all know out there. I'm not messing around. I'm not messing around. I literally did not even think that I should maybe come on here and film our dinner because we were both so hungry. We came home, we ate two steaks total, not each. And now we're just going to chill, watch something and probably go to sleep. So yeah, we kind of, I think, worked out our bodies to the fullest possible capacity. <laughs> I think for the rest of the evening, we just need to like lay down and not move because we're already getting sore. So I think that steak is gonna help with the recovery. I find in general, steak is like the best post-workout food because it really makes your muscles recover faster. I don't know, or just not get as sore. I don't get nearly as sore if I eat steak after a really big workout if you enjoyed this vlog or vlog feel free to give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below as to what else you'd like to see and until next time stay blessed